it wasn't that the intel wasn't there. It was it wasn't acted on, and that's a very very different. That's a very important distinction. question we're debating is what to do long term. Architect Thomas Vonier says there are better ways to protect the capital than a fence. It's um, unimaginative. I don't think it's necessary. Capitol Police now want to build a permanent fence, an idea rejected for decades as too restrictive, unpopular even after the insurrection. We don't want the, the Capitol grounds closed down. We asked four top architecture and building experts whether you can protect a building like the Capitol without a fence. It definitely is possible. We don't have to lock everybody out. Vonier would turn the Capitol complex into a pedestrian only zone, permanently closing Constitution and Independence Avenues to traffic. <laughs> Similar to how Pennsylvania Avenue in front of the White House became a plaza after the Oklahoma City bombing, giving Secret Service an easier way to patrol the area. Everyone who enters that area is watched and scrutinized for what they're wearing, how they're behaving, what they're carrying. Instead of a fence, smart landscaping can create natural, subtle rings of security around high-profile buildings. Hostile vegetation, for example. I think we've all had that experience. You're trying to get into some place and there's thorny plants. They may look great, right? Um, but they can make it pretty uncomfortable for you to, <laughs> to get through. The experts shared ideas for how to ensure a mob that gets past outdoor security never gets inside. Harden windows with tough but invisible ballistic films so they can't break. And the whole purpose is hit it, shoot it, whatever. It's not coming out. Install locks able to instantly secure doors remotely before an attack and hidden steel gates able to quickly seal off sections of a building. You hit a button and it raises up and it blocks the doors. After an attack on Canada's parliament in 2014, an analysis found the most critical security lapses weren't physical. They needed better law enforcement coordination and intelligence gathering, which may have made more of a difference at the U.S. Capitol than a fence. It wasn't that the intel wasn't there. It, was, it wasn't acted on. And that's a very, very, that's a very important distinction. And I've heard people say when they see this temporary fence, they just sort of have a sinking feeling. Yeah. And maybe it's the razor wire. Sure, it's all of that. Congress's decision on a permanent fence will wait until at least March when a security review is complete. The idea that this is meant to be an amenity for the people and a place for the people's business is, is what should be uh, at the forefront. A goal that may not have to compete with security. Patrick Terpstra, Newsy, Washington.